Hi, this is Jared from Shunome, and today I want to do a quick video that shows how to create the drop-down toolbar that I use, and which replaces the toolbox. Um, there was a question on recent blog posts, and I figured it's time I show everyone how to make it. So for those who aren't familiar, I don't use the toolbox anymore. Instead, I use this drop-down um, toolbar, which I created, which I think is fantastic. Um, takes up zero or almost no space, lists everything I want in the order that I want them, and also show, shows the keyboard shortcuts, which is great because it's a nice reminder of what those keyboard shortcuts are, um, which encourages me to use the drop-down menu uh, even less because it's helping me learn my own keyboard shortcuts. So let's click over to the standard ARCHICAD um, work environment. So here it is. There's a toolbox. I think it takes up a lot of space and it's waste because I don't need to remind, remind myself what the um, wall tool looks like. Now if you go with this method I will say you won't get the little um, favorites pop out but that's fine because you can get it uh, in the info box and if we go back to my work environment real quick um, my info box is on the left rather than across the top because across the top is stupid and wrong and just not as functional. So you can get the fly out there. It's just as easy. Okay, so let's go ahead and make the toolbar. So we're going to go to work environment and go down to actually menus first because the first thing we need to do is create a new menu. Let's call it tools. Now, we're going to go over here under the list and go all commands by theme. And we're going to scroll down to find the toolbox tools. We're going to select everything we want. I'm going to skip the um, curtain wall tools because I just don't need them. But you've got those two things. Select all these and hit app to select it. So now we've created a menu for our tools. And why that's important is we're going to go over to toolbars now and hit the toolbar, list tools, and we're going to select the tools menu we just created. Now you'll see it's one option, and we can click that and get to a drop down menu. So let's hit OK because that's really all there is to it, and let's go to toolbars, and turn on our tools. And there we have it. Shows up, there's our web tools. Now there's a couple more things we're going to do to make this better. First of all, notice we now have this tool menu up here, which we don't want, and this could be better organized. So let's go back to work environment, and first go to menus, and under the menu bar options, here's all our menus listed. I'm going to select the tools and hit remove. So now if we hit OK, we'll see that it's missing up there. So that's good. That's step one. Now let's go to toolbars and find our tools and uh, hit the down arrow there. And now we can start um, rearranging where we want things and we can also add separators. So let's add some separators. Let's put a separator, say, there. We can kind of mimic the design document other. And we can put a separator, say, with the camera tool. We can also do things like rearrange where we want the tools to make it more tour liking. You know, because there's no reason these have to be in order of in. So let's say that's all good. And uh, actually, let's do one other thing. Maybe we don't want our coworkers to use the figure tool, and for some reason we don't like the tour elevation tool. Uh, wall end tool doesn't work with building materials, let's get that. And you don't need the stair tool, and also the curtain tool is just something you don't need because you do residential. Let's hit OK. Uh, and then let's put the lamp tool up at the top because you're obsessed with lamps. Um, let's hit OK. Look at it. Now we have a shorter list. We've got our separators, and everything is rearranged the way we want. Let's see if there's anything else I want to tell you guys about this. Let's go back to toolbars. 
under toolbar options, we can do show icon only, show name only, icon and name, and icon and name select. Let's go to show icon only. Okay. Uh, I guess that doesn't affect anything. So let's not worry about that. Let's just go ahead and call this video done um, with one last addition, and that is the toolbar that we just created is um, specific to the layout scheme that you created. So if you have multiple menu and toolbar schemes, you're going to have to create this uh, toolbar for each one of those schemes. Not the end of the world, and really you probably have just one command scheme that you use. But anyways, that's how you go and create this uh, drop-down toolbar for the toolbox tools, and I Hope you learned something. Hope you'll take a risk and go to the toolbox because it's wasting space and use the drop down menu like I do. Thanks and have a good day.